Hey, hi guys. Uh, today we're going to walk you through a new feature that we have come up with. We have integrated with FIRES, a leading zero commission broker, stock broker uh, in National Stock Exchange, India, to enable live trading on GoCharting. So we're going to try and show you how you can do that. So let's get started. So here I am with NCC as the stock, right, in a one minute stock. And before you start trading, so so this is our right panel. This is where uh, you need to enter the details to log into FIRES and start using their trading APIs to trade and go charting. So this is how the homepage looks like for everyone who has used it before. And here in our go charting app store, you will find an app called FIRES. When I click on it, this is the page it takes you to. So it kind of literally asks you to enter your AP app ID and your secret. So where do you get that? right so we are going to do a few steps right so this is api dashboard dot fires dot in this is where you need to create an app for go charting you can call it go charting or test or whatever you want right but the important parameter that we need to ensure we get it right is the redirect url you need to make sure that fires is redirecting the authentication tokens back to go charting right so this is the endpoint that you're going to use gocharting.com slash auth. That's all you're going to use, right? So once you do that and you can upload all of the features, it will take you to a screen something like this. And I've already created an app for myself. And in the bottom, you're going to find your app ID and your secret. So I'm going to use this here and the secret here. All right. And then you got to agree to our terms and conditions for security purpose. One thing you need to know is we do not transmit any of your credential or information to our cloud servers. Whatever information you put in here resides in your browser and directly communicates with the Fire's uh, servers, right? So it's a direct integration between your browser and the Fire servers. All right, so we connect. It usually takes a few seconds to connect, depending on your network connectivity. So once you do that, you will see the page refreshing. And then it will re-log in you, right? And you will get a pop-up which says connected to broker fires, right? Once you're here, you're ready to go, right? There are three buttons you need to be careful of that you need to make sure you're on top of in order to place your trades, right? So first is the trading journal, the new orders, and the trade settings. I'm gonna try and do the trade settings first, right? So this is these are the various controls that you uh, can choose to customize the way you wanna trade, right? I'm gonna walk you through some of them uh, as we go along. So first up, right, let's place an order, right? So a new order, it's called uh, the trading panel. So you can either click on this button or you can press the shortcut keyboard key F2. So F2 will open up this widget, right? Uh, here you can see the broker is Fires. There are many brokers we support. So one of them being Fires right now. And uh, the Fires supports four kinds of orders, the limit order, the market order, the stop order, and the stop limit, right? So let's try and see if we can place a limit order, right? So these are the various parameters that you need to input to place your orders. The limit price, so here we are uh, NCC. So let me try and place a limit order at 32.8, right, below. And we, I'm doing a buy here, or I could do a sell, but now I'm doing a buy. Quantity, you can enter any quantity you want. You can enter three, you can enter five, or you can choose it from any of these buttons, right? You can increment, decrement. For now, let me choose one. I'm gonna set it as default because every time I want to trade in this demo, I want to use this default parameter, which is one quantity. Can you make it convenient for me? Then here in the other configuration, there are a few things you need to be uh, wary of. So in files, you need to choose something called the product type. Here I'm choosing intraday. And for all of these parameters you input, there is an option to set it as default. So every subsequent uh, order you place is going to use the default uh, settings, right? And then an expiration of day and stop, take profit and stop loss are only applicable on cover orders and bracket orders. So for now, we're just going to place a simple order for this demo. But uh, in the live version, you can use all of these features to take profit, stop loss. So I'm going to try and place this order. 
All right so once you place it says order id place and you will actually see it in the chart right in the chart you will see this line which says this is the limit order that i've placed and it says quantity one and it's in green which means you it's a buy order and it's a limit buy at 32.8 now you can literally uh, move this with your uh, 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 with your mouse right like this right depending on where you want to place it and you can modify it or you can simply you know modify so, so I can place it here right and it says 32.65 and I say modify and hopefully it gets modified and it does right so now it's placed at 32.65 just like the way i wanted it and then if you want to close the order right you can either click on this button right here right there are a couple of options or you can go to your trading journal trading journal basically gives you this is your my trades my orders my positions yeah and you can literally see all the orders you have placed. These are the orders I've placed. And you can see that this is an open order. And I can literally right click here and uh, cancel the order, right? So if I cancel, it says confirm to submit order. Confirm to. Uh, or I could also confirm, uh, I could also uh, literally, you know, from the chart itself, I could delete the order. Confirm to delete the order. That's it, right? And I can, yes. And when I place it here, it says cancelled, and you will see it gone from the charts. Which, and now, if I want to go back to the trading journal and check out my orders, right? And it says cancelled. All right. So this is a this was a uh, NCC order. It was limit order, price at 32.65, like we showed you. There was no stop here, or one quantity, and you can literally choose the fields you want. So I have pretty much got all the necessary fields. I'm going to add a product, which tells you whether it's an intraday and then the expiry, all of that, right? So we're good. No trades placed here. So let's try and place a trade, a market order probably. So again, F2. I'm going to try a market order, one quantity, and that's all I need. I'm going to place it, right? Once you place the order, right, it says order ID placed successfully. Once you do that, here two things will appear. Here you will see an arrow which tells you bought one order of fires, right, with an arrow, right, exactly where point where you bought it. And then there's a position line which tells you what is the position you are taking right now. So what it says is you have a position of plus one right at 33 dollars uh, sorry inr right and right now the pnl is zero right as it keeps moving these uh, lines right this is not a very liquid stock but if you if we observe in a few seconds you will see that this candle will move hopefully and based on this candle placement the pnl will keep updating real time here right and you're gonna now uh, i'm gonna try and see the same thing here right so here in the trades right now you can see the trade id order id and this is the buy order market order that you've placed you will see that this is an order which is filled and in the position line also you can see that there's a pnl of minus 0 0.05 right now right so it's uh, you're a little down all right so, so so that's what you need to know and if you want to flatten the order or take a reverse position you can also do that directly from the chart itself so you can like literally click here and we'll say close the position and it will close it for you right so it will basically going to place a reverse order of the same quantity if you're taking a side of buy it will sell on one quantity and you can see it in the screen now so you see that there was a one order bought and now there's a one order sold so this is the basics right and you can continue exploring this uh, as you go along. But there are a few important things that I'm going to show you, which are cool, right? So you you need to go to F1 to uh, go to the uh, product tour and go to uh, platform shortcuts. Go to trading, right? We have put in some really, really cool quick trading features here. So literally, you can place an order at the click of a button. We call it the one click option right so you can place a limit order using a shift and a double click you can place a market order using a control and a double click you can place a stop order using alt and a double click and you can cancel all orders using the f6 button right so let's do that right uh, so in order for you to be able to start doing that right here in the option right you can choose quick trade mode okay so once i i'm in the quick trade mode what I'm going to do is now place my mouse. See my mouse here? I'm going to place it here, which is below the LTP. Press shift and double click, right? That's all I'm going to do. And it is going to place an order, 
exactly at the same place. Now the app is intelligent, smart enough to understand that if you have placed your mouse below the LTP, it is going to be a buy order. You don't have to actually enter anything here. And you have already set the size as default based on that it will place the order. If you want to place a, a market order, I'm going to place control now and I'm going to just double click, right? Again, based on whether the, 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 the mouse is placed above or below uh, the LTP, the closing price right now, it is going to choose whether it's going to place a buy order or a sell order. In this case, it was a sell order because I placed it above the current closing line. Similarly, you can do a stop order. You can literally prove, let me put it up there, right? And I'm putting Alt and a double click. That's all I'm doing. And now it is going to place a stop order for me. It says stop buy, right? Because this time the mouse is placed above the current LTP. So it's a very smart app in a way We're using this single, you know, double clicks, you know, single one click option. You can literally place every order you want. And I'm going to try F6. F6 is going to cancel all the orders. So here I've press this and your order gets cancelled. It's as simple as that. All right. There are a few more options you can choose. For example, there's a one click widget. So this widget kind of helps you place market orders quickly. It's an additional option, right? So you if you want I want to place another market order of say two, right? And I want to buy or sell or whatever, right? But here you need to specify whether you know buy or sell and it will place another order for you and it gets placed.